reading, statins and heart disease. A recent NICE proposal to dramatically increase the numbers of patients who are offered statins has not been received favorably by all. NICE, often pronounced NICE, is the National Institute for Health and Clinical Excellence. It is responsible for giving evidence-based guidance to health professionals on a wide range of health issues. Statins are already the most commonly prescribed cholesterol-lowering medications in the UK. Around 7 million people in the UK take the tablets which cost less than 10 pence a day. Arguably, a cost-effective solution to a serious health problem. It is estimated statins prevent around 7,000 deaths a year from heart attacks or strokes. Tens of thousands of people are also spared non-fatal heart attacks or significant disability. Cardiovascular disease was common in early middle age as early as a generation ago. These days, blood pressure lowering programs and treatments have delayed heart disease for around 20 years. NICE guidance suggests that adults with a 20% chance of having a heart attack or stroke in the next 10 years should be offered statins. Draft guidance suggests lowering the risk threshold for statins to a 10% chance of cardiovascular disease over 10 years. A change from simvastatin to atorvastatin 20 mg in patients identified as high risk is also recommended. So how is the risk calculated? The QRISC2 tool is an easy way to calculate individual risk. The tool uses factors such as age, sex, ethnicity, blood pressure, body mass index, family history and cholesterol level. Another surprising factor is a person's postcode, as living in poverty increases the risk of heart disease as well. And even if a person's current risk is below the 10% trigger for statins, the risk increases as a person ages. By the time you reach the sixth decade of life, it is highly likely that you will need statins despite being in seemingly good health. It is difficult to estimate the health benefits of statins, however, many doctors believe the benefits are significant. But, there is an opposing view. Proponents of the opposite side say that prescribing statins medicalizes a condition which can be controlled by lifestyle changes. They claim that making changes in diet and starting a regular exercise program can reduce cholesterol levels just as effectively. They say that offering a pill as a solution may be more harmful if diet and lifestyle changes are not made at the same time. They suggest that up to one in five people will suffer side effects such as muscle pains, stomach pains or increased risk of diabetes. NICE disagrees and maintains that the figure is far lower and serious problems with statins are rare. The NHS also agrees that statins are generally well tolerated, with few people experiencing any side effects. In the end, patients will have to consult with their GP and do their own research. There is little doubt that statins are an important part of the treatment of high cholesterol and heart disease. Some patients will opt to try statins and adopt a wait and see attitude to side effects. After all, they know that treatment with statins is long-term treatment. They will be taking a tablet every day for many years to come and the tablet is not the whole treatment. Lifestyle changes are essential, with or without statins.